everybody at some point in their life has to ask the question, you know, what are you going to do with your life? Pretty simple, right? And as we age, as we go along in our life, we're, we're, we may or may not be asking this question. But it's a fundamental question. It's like there, there's many different paths that you can go down. And I remember when I was in high school, you're, you're in a very strange situation. You're surrounded by a bunch of people you don't know. You're learning something that fundamentally you don't really want to learn. And they're supposedly there, the teachers, to teach you things so that you learn enough. So at some point, you can go out into the world and get a job. And everybody's doing it. And while you're going through this, you don't understand the world. You don't understand why you're there, how you're there, who these people are, you're, you're, you're just there. And for the first 20 years of your life, it's like being thrown into this vat. And you're, you don't really know how things work in this vat. And, and as you go along, you pick things up. But there's a lot of external forces, whether it's your religion, your family, your friends, your social arenas. It's all these experiences you're having. And you're trying to figure things out, right? Most kids or children aren't saying, hey, I'm here and I'm going to tell you what to do. I know what's, what's going on here and here I am and here's, here's what you're going to get. You have to come into this world and you have to learn and then at some point you go, okay, I've learned enough. Now I'm going to do X or I am going to do Y, whatever it is, right? But by the time you've come to that point of realization, you've gone through a process that might have actually killed your ability to understand who you are. I know this, this might sound a little strange to you, but for me, for designing your ideal job, you can't look at what other people have said. You can't look at what's possible. You can't like, it, it's like ridding yourself of everything that you think is possible ridding your, yourself of everything you think is probable because these two things, what you think is possible and what you think is probable has a huge impact on you. And if you wanted to be an astronaut, you wanted to be a president or you wanted to be a, an NBA basketball player, along the way, people are going to go, that's not possible. You can't do that. You'll never get there if you told them what you're going to do. And then you get feedback, right? But the ideal, the ideal job that you want or create for yourself is sort of getting rid of the feedback that's saying you can't do something. And going inside and going, you know, if if I had all the resources, if I had the education, if I had everything that was necessary, if it was there, because most of the time it's not, but if it was there, how would I craft and design? How would I, how would I look at my ideal job? Because this, this is so important because there's so many factors that stop people from getting where their dreams are. And most of the time, it's the people around them. It's their family, it's their friends. Because everyone's attempting to get to some place. And that place is very vague, but they know they want to get there. They know they want to get away from where they've been. And they're, they're seeking something. 
And when you're seeking something, you're seeking something that you don't have. For a lot of people, you're seeking God. For a lot of, a lot of people, you're seeking spirit. You're, you're seeking something more. You're seeking something that gives meaning to your life. Because you look around and, and things just don't make sense. So for you, because I, I, I've been working on a structure where humans can design the, the best of what they want. And, and the, the majority of the constraints are time and money and space. Right? Do you have enough time? Do you have enough money? Do you have enough space? And if you had all of these, what would you do? So you, you have to go to the depth of the depth of the depth of who you are and really sort of focus on the seed within you. Focus on what you truly intuitively know to be true for you and that becomes the map in front of you that becomes the, the what you are truly aiming at and if you don't know what that is no one is going to be able to tell you you are going to have to figure that out for yourself what this video is, is part in this course, is, is to push you, challenge you to truly commit to going through a process of figuring out what is going to be best for you. So keep watching the videos, keep going along, but just think about that.